A judge finds City Council President Nick Mosby did violate ethics rules surrounding his failure to report donations to a legal defense fund in his name. And we begin there. The judge today upholding two of three ethics violations against the City Council President. Fox 25's Jeff Abel joins us live right now with a look at what comes next. Jeff? Well, you know, it was almost a year ago when Council President Nick Mosby agreed to comply, then denied he'd done anything wrong. Well, today it took a judge to decide that when it comes to ethics, Mosby had crossed the line. This was a win for ethics in the city. For Ethics Board Chairman Stephen Fogelman, it's been a year-long battle to ensure the city's second most powerful public official is on sound, ethical ground. Can you assure the people that you are ethically sound? I'm unequivocally. Uh, you know, I think through even their investigation, uh, it clearly showed that I had absolutely nothing to do uh, with it. But today, a judge ruled otherwise. Last year, the city's ethics board slapped Council President Nick Mosby with three ethics violations. A accusing him of failing to report on city ethics forms, a legal defense fund which was established for Mosby and his wife, former state's attorney Marilyn Mosby. The council president had long contended that he didn't establish the fund and had no control over the $14,000 raised by the fund. But at a hearing before a circuit judge today, an attorney representing the ethics board insisted as a beneficiary of the trust, he has an equitable interest in that money. Mosby's attorney fired back, telling the judge it's not whether Mr. Mosby had a legal or equitable interest in the fund. The test is whether he had a financial interest in the fund. In the end, the judge ruled that Mosby had indirectly solicited donations from the fund and had an obligation to report it, saying the problem with the board is once Mr. Mosby became aware of this, he didn't disassociate from it. The judge reaffirmed the board's decision that the ethics law's restriction on soliciting gifts are very broad and an official cannot get around those restrictions by allowing third parties to fundraise on their behalf. The judge upheld two of the three ethics violations Mosby faced, but he left it up to the ethics board to decide any appropriate penalties. The board's going to consider their options. For now, the city's ethics board believes the ruling sends a much greater message. We believe that uh, the judge's decision today will lead to greater transparency. Mosby can still appeal today's decision to a court in Annapolis, but it is unclear whether he has any plans to do so. We are live tonight, Jeff Abel, Fox 45 News.